Hi Somerville, it's me Luke. I'm going to sh make a little dinner here that I call chicken with cheese. Now, he here are the supplies you'll need to make this. A plate to put the chicken onto it when it's done. A spatula to flip it on a different side. Some vegetable oil. A grill. This is the thing that I'm going to use to grill the chicken with cheese. Or fry it. You'll need one egg in one of these bowls to make the chicken sticky enough so that so this hot grinded cheese will stick onto it. And here's the chicken that we'll need. You must I must make sure that the egg and chicken is right so no chemicals are, are on it. Now let's mix this grinded cheese with some garlic in this bowl. Now, you gotta open it on this side so the, che the cheese will fall quicker. Close the lid and bang it against the counter. Sometimes it gets hard lumps. Hmm. Here we go. Hmm. <clears throat> have to un now let's add a little garlic. Whoops. Uh, it's okay, it's gonna taste good. Now Stir them so they are mixed. I like my chicken with cheese with garlic in it. It makes it taste more nicer. You know, after I make the chicken sticky, the egg, it'll be sticky enough for the cheese to go on it. Then I'll be able to fry it. Here we go. Now let's get the skillet ready. Let's plug it in. And now, if you're a kid, don't try this at home. You must have to go out to get the grill thing on 350. Like this. Now, I'm gonna pour some oil so, so the chicken won't stick onto the pan. Now, while the skillet's getting warm, you must need a sharp knife and a cutting board so you can cut the chicken smaller. And you must use one piece at a time. Now let's unwrap them. Up here. Ugh. Ew. Ew. Now, this is what the chicken will look like when it's cut. It's a polite to flatten it with your thumb, so it won't be like a solid. Use the fork. Use the fork. Oh, I mean the fork. Push it really hard. Yeah. Oh. There. Does that chicken have bones in it? This chicken does not have bones in it. Or any skin on it. Or skin. Good. But it does look like it should be fried before it eats, cause you don't want to eat it when it's like this. I mean, I mean seriously. Yeah. <laughs> now comes the fun part. You must. You'll use. I'm gonna use a fork to hold the chicken and put it in the egg and roll it around to make it sticky enough so the cheese will stick onto it. Wow, did you know? Shh. 
No, no. You can poke it. It's okay to poke it to get it in the other one. Okay. Now let's roll it in the mixture of garlic and the cheese. Luke, does this recipe have any gluten in it at all? No, it does not. Because gluten is what? Something that is a thing that has that is inside wheat. Right. You know, now here's the part where you start to flip the, the chicken, but you gotta wait until it's time. Now you see that the bottom part of the chicken is already starting to fry. But when you flip it, it'll do the other side. Now here's the part where you start to flip the chicken, but be careful. Do not touch the side with your arm. It is sure to burn you. How's that look? See, that's what it looks like when it will be done, but the other side of this chicken has to fry Keep going. That's fine. All right, now the chicken is fully ready. Now you must be careful on putting them in the plate, because, and here you go. Take a look at it. Doesn't it look good enough to eat? Now that the chicken is ready, it's time to eat. You know, you could try making this meal too. I'll see you tomorrow, Miss Somerville.